All right, so here's a hand of scat. So I'm playing right now. Let me switch my settings to English first here. Here we go. 18. All right, so I am in forehand. Rear hand is the dealer, so I will have the lead. The way it works with the bidding is um, middle hand, who sits right behind rear hand, always starts the bidding, right? And so he has he's bid 18 to me. I have the option of passing. So but what I need to do first is analyze my hand. So I've got two of the top jacks, the Bs, that's Boobin, two of the top jacks, so that's great. And I've got, I'm, I'm long in spades. And I've got one ace, which is, so this is actually a pretty decent hand. This would be in spades, this would be six trump. So I'd have one, two, three, four, five, six. Right? And then I have an ace, which is also an advantage in the side suits. These are these are what are known as fails. The fail suits are the suits that you don't have that are not that you don't want to make trump. So the way I calculate the hand, the, my my bidding value is I'm with two because I have the top two jacks, with two game three times eleven. Eleven is the value for spades with two. Uh, game three. Uh, times 11 is 33 so i can bid up to 33 now if i wanted to bid higher than that say let's say a middle hand held and i wanted to bid higher than that i could maybe decide if i want to play a hand game and not pick up the scat but i will we'll, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it so i'm gonna hold 18 20 yes. 2, 3, 24. so he holds he holds a decent hand as well in 27 30 passe right. nicht mit mir so he held, he passed at 30. That means he probably wants to play hearts. I won the bid um, less than 33. So I, I'm gonna, I can still pick up the scat and be okay. So I'll pick it up to try to get the advantage of that. All right, that's even better because now I have even one, one more spade even. So what I want to do is decide what I want to discard. Discards count toward my point total. So I want to short suit myself if I can so that I don't, so that I'm free in as many suits as possible so that I can trump. So I'll throw the eight down. The ace, the ace king, I can probably hold on to that, although the king I might lose. Uh, but you never know. So I'll, I'll throw a, one of these worthless cards off a seven. All right, so I discard those. So I don't have any points in my, in the, in my discards now because the seven and the eight aren't worth anything. But I'm going to call sp spades, right? Now I have seven trump including the two top jacks, and then an ace-king combination, uh, which is somewhat strong, and then the eight. So this is actually a really good suit, suit game hand, so I'm going to call spades. Okay, and I also have the lead because I'm forehand. I'm sitting in front of the dealer. So my goal now, I'm playing against the other two guys. I want to try to get at least 61 card points, to accumulate 61 card points. And I do that by playing my hand correctly, uh, I don't know obviously what they have, but I can I can probably count on some kind of some kind of trump distribution between the two of them. So I have seven trump. There's eleven trump in the game, meaning um, seven spades in total, plus four jacks. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to try to lead as the as the player as the picker or the declarer. You always want to try to, to play trump and try to draw the trump out from the other two players to try to maintain control of the hand. So what I want to do is I'll play low to try to suck out some more trump, and then I can my plan is going to be to play low. I, I know I have, I have seven trump. Those guys have four trump between them. Um, so I want to try to suck out that trump, and I can do that by playing the seven first. And then the two top jacks. And by that point in time, all the Trump should likely be out unless one guy has Trump all, and not the other guy doesn't have any, which is not an ideal situation, but that's probably not going to affect us here. So I'll play this. So that's so I keep in my head, I keep the number four because I know there's four Trump out there. There's three, two, okay. Now I'm going to Trump in. It doesn't really matter what I play. I'll play, I'll play the 10. 
one zero. All Trump are out now. Okay, so the 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 other two jacks were played. So now all Trump has been pulled. So now I can switch to the fail suits and try to play those. So I'll play my ace. The ten didn't fall. Aces are worth eleven, and tens, which are right under them, are worth ten. So the aces and the tens are really what the game revolves around. You want to try to capture those. Um, so I didn't get I didn't get the ace of or the the ten of hearts like I wanted to, but but I didn't really expect to either. So I'm going to play the eight, and I know they're they're going to try to see they played off points there. So again, I'm going to trump in. I'll play the king. And I know he's going to throw the, the 10 down there. And now the rest of them are mine because I have Trump. There we go. Du hast gewonnen. Okay, so 70, I made 78. So I didn't make... 78 is, a basic, is the basic game. If I were to may have made 90 points, I would get what's called Schneider, and that's addi an additional multiplier. So here's the calculation of my the value of my hand. I was with 2, game 3, so I bid 33, and I made... 78 points, so I made at least 61, less than 90 though, so just a basic win. So I get 33 points. Now I'm the dealer. Nicht mit mir. So middle hand over here on the right has passed. He he has the right to bid first, but he passed because his hand's not very good. So now it comes to me. The forehand is always the listener. In German, the way the way they say it is they start with the dealer is geben, and then forehand is hören. And then middle hand is Zagen. That means deal, listen, speak. Okay? And so I know some sometimes it's taught A, B, C. Forehand is A, which would um which would be um oh I forget what they what they call it. Um but B is the bidding and C is continue. A is I can't remember what the what the guy called it, but anyway, A is always the, the listener, okay? And so, um, so my hand here, and I'm in rear hand, which is somewhat of an advantageous position. Middle hand is the worst because you're in the middle right away. You don't know, you know, what forehand is going to lead to you, and you don't know what rear hand is going to is going to, is going to play. Whereas in rear hand, I have the opportunity of seeing what the other two guys have played first. Um, I have the top jack, and I have three spades. So that in spades, this would give me five, but I only have a 10 in the side suits. The side suits aren't very strong. So I'm going to actually pass. 18. Ich spiele grand. Okay, so he's going to play a grand. So that means that only the jacks are trump. So I know that there's two trump out there. There's, um, there's the jack of spades and the jack of hearts somewhere. He's probably got both of them, okay? But so I keep the, the number two in my mind because I know there's two trump out there. There's one fell now. I have to follow suit. Again, this game, just like any trick-taking trick game, you have to follow suit if you can. Trump, All trumps are considered a suit. So there's one left. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to trump, and I'm going um, to take that. Okay? So now I, my, my decision is what to play here. I've got kind of a mishmash of a hand here, and nothing is super strong. If I had aces, I would play those against him to try to... Um, to try to get him to drop his other uh, his other jack, or possibly he has a, a um, that suit that he has to follow suit. But I don't have anything, and so I'll play my long suit against him, and I'll play the king. So he 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 got over it with an ace. So now he's going to have a lot of aces. He's going to have a strong side, uh, strong hand in, in the side suits. So grands grands are normally one because you usually play them when you have a strong hand. So you can see he's got super strong cards here. All right, there. See, he's, he's got a long suit in, in hearts, which is good for a grand because you can just run it right down and run everybody out of those suits. All right, okay. So there we took some. Ich habe gewonnen. Okay, so he won with, with 71. He got at least 61, but we kept him away from Schneider. All right, so he got, so his, he was without one. So here's what he played with. He had, he had, he had two jacks, and then here we go. He had three aces, including an ace ten combination, which is always a good sign for grand. Okay, so, so that's that was a good. So he was, but he was without one because he held the, he he had, the sequence was broken after the, um, after the club jack, 
Okay, so he was without one. Game two times 24, which is the value for grand, is 48. So he won the basic grand game for 48 points. Okay, we're also in the lead, by the way. All right, now I'm in middle hand, which is the worst possible position. However, I have two jacks and three aces, which is a good start. Okay, so I have a couple different options. So I will bid 18. The one thing about middle hand is you always start the bidding, right? So even if you have a fair to middling hand, sometimes you you can just bid. They call it sort of an sort of an like a an eighteen hand where you can your cards are okay. You'll throw eighteen out there, see what the other guys say. If they both pass, that means that possibly something is good in the scat, and that'll make your hand a little better. So that's why I say sometimes borderline hands are okay to just bid eighteen. And see, kind of see where you go. So we're going to do that. Thanks, be He passes. Thanks, he passes. So that means actually there's probably something good in the scat. And there is. The 10, is, the 10 helps us big time. So we're actually going to play... Um, well, we have a couple different options here. I'm actually going to play a... I'm going to get rid of the 9 and the 8. So I short shoot myself in clubs. And then I'm going to play... I'm going to play a spades game. Because the ace-10 combination is good to have in the side suits, so I'm going to keep the ace-10 of hearts in the side suits, and then um, I have the additional ace of diamonds, which is helpful. But then I have I have five trump plus a couple aces, including uh, an ace-10 combination, which is a good fact pattern to have. Um, I my the value of this game would be. The bidding is over, so it doesn't. That doesn't matter. But for 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 when I win or lose this game, this hand, I would say I'm with one game two times eleven is twenty two. That's the value of this hand. Okay. Now the other con the other aspects are grand and null. Grand is out of the question here. I'm sitting in middle hand. I do have some aces and an ace ten combination, which is good for a grand. However, I'm sitting in the middle, and I just can't. Just based on the distribution of the other jacks and the side suits, it's not likely that I'm going to win a grand hand here, okay, a, gra a grand game. And so, and as far as null, null is absolutely out of the question. There's too many aces, too many face cards, pictures here. Uh, there's not, not going to happen. So I'm going to play a basic spades game. All right, so he leads the eight. I have to follow suit. I will go high just so I ensure I take the trick, okay? I know there's six trump out there, by the way. Because I have five of the 11, so I know there's six out there. Contra. Oh, crap. So he has a lot of spades as well. He's called Contra on me, which means, no, I don't think you're going to win. And if, by the way, and the game will be doubled now. So if I lose, it's doubled. And if I win, it's doubled. Okay. All right. So six. So I, that, I need to take that into consideration now. So six, five, four. Oh, he had heart. Good. Okay. Um, three. Okay. Now he's out of Trump. Okay. One guy is out of Trump. So I'm going to shift away from Trump and try to try to win in the fail suits now. Not good. Two. One. Du hast gewonnen. Oh, I squeaked it by with 66. Okay, I did I did squeak it by with 66. Now this guy is telling me I could have actually won a grand, which I guess let me, let's take a look at that. So maybe I was wrong about the fact that I could have won a grand. I still don't think that's necessarily true because there's just too many gaps there and there's I've got too many um, exposed cards there and, and I had the top... I had the top um, Jack, but I, I don't know. Sometimes the game, this this game's recommendations are are sort of strange. Uh, but you can see who called contra here left a rear hand. He had two jacks, including the two middle jacks. He's only missing the top one and the bottom one. And then he had you know he has some three strong spades there, and he had a not so good of a, a side uh, hand. But but we won. I mean, and we won maybe because we played that strategically correctly and when we rec as soon as we recognized that um that the one guy had was out of trump we switched away from it so that we didn't get overrun and we could maintain our trump strength and try to pull the trump out using the side suits so anyway this is that's just a sort of the different considerations Tschüss. for nicht mit mir oh hey let's stick around for this one because this is going to be a, a humdinger right here 
Okay, so nobody, so I'm in forehand, that means I'm listening. Middle hand passed. Rear hand then has the opportunity to bid, to, to bid further. He also passed. We have a solid, solid hand. We're short suited in two trumps, or excuse me, two suits. We have no diamonds and we have no clubs, okay? Um, we have a solid spades hand. However, we're in forehand and we have the top two jacks. That means we cannot lose a grand. We cannot lose it because what we can do is, so I'm going to say yes. We can say, because we, because we have the lead, I can lead with the top two jacks and pull the other two jacks because they have to follow suit. The other two jacks have to fall when I draw these, when I, when I play these two top jacks. That means I can play this spade suit down from top to bottom and then the hearts. And depending on how the hearts fall, as I play the spade, what the, in German this is called a Farbflöte, a, a, a suit suit flute <laughs> is what it's called. You have a long um, suit, and it's it's great because you can play it from top to bottom. You can draw all the all the other some of the other fail suits out, and then if you know if all goes well with, the, with these hearts over here, I can maybe even cash these in as well. So and I can play this out from the hand. I can play a hand game. I don't even need the scat to make this game and make this hand any better. This is great. So here we go. Um, and I can even call it go one better and probably even even call it Schneider. Although, and that might be difficult. Let me just think through that for a minute. So you can say you can say in hand, and then once you call a hand game, you can actually say, "Oh, not only am I going to play it out of the hand and not pick up the scat, but I think I'm going to make Schneider, or I think I'm going to make Schwarz." So it means black, which means every trick. Okay, that I'm not. I know I'm not going to be able to do, or I can't be certain that I'm going to be able to do that. Um, the only my only hesitation with playing a Schneider game is I don't know what kind of. Um, what kind of ten, aces or tens are gonna are there, these guys are gonna hang on to that they'll be able to slough off when I play the eight and the seven? That I'm not sure of, and so that means that I could I could not make ninety points right at the end, the last couple of of um, of um, leads because I might get they might throw off um, some high card high point value cards in there. So I don't think I'm gonna call Schneider. So I'm just gonna call a hand game. And now we can play this from top to bottom and see what happens. Here we go. There's the first jack. There's, oh, okay. So the other jack is actually buried in the in the scat, which we didn't touch. But we just play this from top to bottom, and we'll watch the hearts and see what happens here. Yeah, see, the hearts aren't falling. So that means that that the ten of hearts is going to be, there it is. So, so, yeah, see, it's good that we didn't play. Schneider, because we, that was just what I expected to happen. Is those um, those um, aces and tens sort of fell at the last uh, at the last um, couple of, le of um, leads there. So, uh, so the last couple of tricks there. So um, we did make we had we were with three game four hand five that adds another multiplier times twenty four is one hundred and twenty points. So that was a great one. So anyway, so that's kind of a good demonstration. Of show, showing you kind of how the game works and the different considerations that you go through and trying to figure out what your opponents have and playing your hand correctly. So 